Good morning, dear students of class 1. Today, we are going to start with a new lesson. That is lesson number 5. And the name of the lesson is Daisy the Cow. Okay, so what is the name of the lesson? The name of the lesson is Daisy the Cow. Now, first I will read it and as I read it, I want everyone to point with your fingers, okay? Jim likes the animals on Aunt Katie's farm. He likes Billy, the little black goat. He likes the noisy hens and the gentle sheep. But there is one animal Jim is afraid of. So, Jim, okay, this little boy, he likes the animals on Aunt Katie's farm. What is Jim's aunt's name? Aunt Katie, isn't it? So, this little boy Jim likes the animals on Aunt Katie's farm. And he likes Billy, this little black goat. Its name is Billy, okay? He likes Billy, the little black goat, okay? And he also likes the noisy hens and the gentle sheep, okay? He also likes the noisy hens. These are hens and the gentle sheep. Noisy means noisy to beng cheng tina. He likes the noisy hens. And the gentle sheep, okay? But there is one animal that Jim is afraid of, okay? Jim is afraid of one animal, okay? Now, let's continue reading and find out what Jim is afraid of, okay? Jim says, I'm afraid of the bear with the horns. It's stares at me with large brown eyes. It makes a loud noise. Now, Jim says that he is afraid of the bear with the horns. This is a cow, okay? And Jim doesn't know that this is a cow. And he says that he is afraid of the bear. He calls the cow the bear with the horns okay it is not a bear it is a cow okay and jim says that he is afraid of the bear with the horns okay what is jim afraid of jim is afraid of the bear with the horns okay and why is jim afraid of the cow because he says that it stares at him with large brown eyes and it makes a loud noise okay jim is afraid of the cow because it stares at him with large brown eyes and it makes a loud noise all right now let's move on to the next paragraph aunt katie says that isn't a bear that is my good cow daisy she will not hurt you. Okay. So, when Jim said that he is afraid of the bear with the horns because it stares at him with large brown eyes, with his large brown eyes, and it makes really loud noise. Okay. And then his aunt Katie, okay, his aunt Katie told him that this isn't a bear. That is my good cow. It is a very good cow and its name is Daisy, okay? Aunt Katie told Jim that this is not a bear with horns. It is a cow and her name is Daisy, okay? What is the cow's name? Daisy, isn't it? And then Aunt Katie told Jim that it will not hurt him. The cow will not hurt him, okay? But... Daisy is making loud noises at me, says Jim. Aunt Katie says, no, that is Daisy mooing loudly. She is hungry. Aunt Katie gives Daisy some hay to eat. So, 
Jim, uh, when Aunt Katie told Jim that this cow, Daisy, won't hurt him, Jim told Aunt Katie that Daisy is making very loud noises at him and that is why he is afraid of Daisy. And then Aunt Katie told Jim that it is Daisy mooing loudly, okay? Cows, cows, they moo, isn't it? And Aunt Katie told Jim that it is Daisy mooing loudly. And when she is mooing, it means that she is hungry, okay? When Daisy is mooing, it means that she is hungry. And then Aunt Katie gives Daisy some hay to eat, okay? As you can see in this picture, Aunt Katie gives Daisy some hay to eat. Since she is mooing very loudly, it means that she is hungry. So Aunt Katie gives Daisy some hay to eat. Slowly, Jim walks up and stands beside Daisy. She makes a soft moo sound. When he pats her, I'm not afraid of Daisy now, Jim tells Aunt Katie. And then, after Aunt Katie gives Daisy some hay to eat, Jim walks up, okay, Jim walks up and he stood beside Daisy, okay? As you can see in this picture, Jim is standing beside Daisy and daisy makes a soft moo sound okay that sound cow makes when jim stood beside daisy daisy made that sound moo sound okay and he pats her as you can see in the picture jim is patting daisy okay as you can see in this picture jim kanin avatula ni tu okay pat means tool ti na hetya vatul ka pat ni Okay, and then after patting Daisy, Jim told Aunt Katie that he is not afraid of Daisy now. Okay, after patting Daisy, Jim is no longer afraid of Daisy. Okay, so that is the story about Daisy the cow. Okay, so um, this story is about little boy jim and his aunt named katie okay and jim likes the animals at aunt katie's farm he likes billy okay the little black goat and he also likes the noisy hens and the gentle sheep isn't it and there is one animal that jim is afraid of what is jim afraid of jim is afraid of the cow daisy and he, before Jim knew that this is a cow, he thought it is a bear with horns, okay? And why is Jim afraid of the cow? Because it, stare, it stares at him with large brown eyes and it makes a loud noise, isn't it? And then Aunt Katie told Jim that this is not a bear with horns. It is a cow and its name is... Daisy. The name of the cow is Daisy. And then Aunt Katie told Jim that she will not hurt him. Daisy will not hurt him. Okay. Aunt Katie told Jim that Daisy is a good cow and she will not hurt da uh, Jim. Daisy will not hurt Jim. Okay. And then Jim told Aunt Katie, but Aunt Katie, Daisy makes loud noises at me and that is why I am afraid of Daisy. Aunt Katie then told Jim that, no, that is Daisy mooing loudly. She's not making noises at you. She is mooing loudly because she is hungry. When she is mooing loudly, it means that she is hungry, okay? And then Aunt Katie gives Daisy some hay to eat, okay? Daisy is eating the hay in this picture. And then slowly, Jim walks up and stands beside Daisy. And then Daisy made a soft moo sound when he pats her. Jim is patting at Daisy. 
in this picture, okay? And then, Jim told Aunt Katie, Aunt Katie, I am no longer afraid of Daisy now, okay? So, that's the story. I hope everyone understood this, this story. And now, let's move on to the questions, okay? A. Put these pictures in the correct order. Write the numbers 1 to 4 in the boxes. So, we are going to put these pictures in the correct order. What would be the first picture? It's number 4, isn't it? Jim likes the little black goat. And then after that is, here you will, in this box, you will write 1. Okay, and after that, Jim is afraid of the cow because she moves at him, isn't it? So, this is number 2. In this box, you will write number two. And then Aunt Katie told Jim that when the cow moves, it means she is hungry. And then Aunt Katie gave the cow, gave Daisy, some hay to eat, isn't it? So this is number three. And Jim is no longer afraid of Daisy and he pats Daisy. So this would be number four, okay? Write number four here in this box. Now let's look at B. Answer these questions. Which animals does Jim like? Jim likes the gentle no Jim first Jim likes the little black goat, isn't it? He likes the noisy hens and the gentle sheep. So which animals does Jim like? Jim likes the little black goat, the noisy hen, and the gentle sheep, isn't it? Now, number two. Complete this sentence. Jim is afraid of Daisy because she dash at him and makes a loud noise. Jim is afraid of Daisy because she stares at him and makes a loud noise isn't it because she stares at him and makes a loud noise now number three why does daisy moo loudly why does daisy moo loudly daisy moves loudly because she is hungry isn't it now number four what does aunt katie do when daisy moves loudly what does Aunt Katie do? Aunt Katie gives Daisy some hay to eat, isn't it? So, um, uh, you can do this in your textbooks itself. Okay, page number 35. Now, everyone turn to page 40. Writing. Look at this picture of a farm, then complete the sentences with the words given in the picture. So we are going to look at this picture and we are going to complete these sentences using the words from this picture. Okay, the first one, it's already done. This is my grandpa's farm. Okay, this is my grandpa's farm. And the second one, number two, there are two dash in the cow shed. What is there in the cow shed? This is the cow shed. There are two cows in the cow shed, isn't it? Now, number three, the brown dash jumps up and down. What, ju what is jumping up and down? The brown goat, isn't it? The brown goat jumps up and down. Now, number four, there are three dash in the pond. What is in the pond? There are three ducks, isn't it? There are three ducks in the pond. Now, number five. Rita runs after a dash. Where is Rita? This little girl is Rita, okay? Rita runs after a sheep. She is running after a sheep. So, you will write sheep here. The last one. Neil feeds the... Where is Neil? This boy is Neil. Neil is feeding the hens, isn't it? So, Neil feeds the hens, isn't it? So, those will be your answers and you can do this in your textbooks itself, okay? I want everyone to do your homework. Write it nicely, do it carefully and submit your homework by this Saturday, okay? That's all for today. Thank you.